Hello, uh, this is a quick video about Bumblefoot uh, and how to treat it without using surgery. Essentially, Bumblefoot is an infection that happens in the foot of a duck or a chicken when they step on something sharp or something irritates it or if they've been standing on uh, like a flat surface for too long, which is kind of weird, but uh, a flat surface is an unnatural surface to a bird foot. And so it can get irritated and it starts to swell. And if you Google images, uh, it's disgusting, but you'll, you'll see exactly what it looks like. It's sort of like a bulb about the size of a quarter. And then there's like a little scab at the bottom. And it looks and is kind of like a giant zit on their foot. Um, it's like a, just a buildup of, uh, what is it, pus or something, uh, it's, it's gross. Um, and so, there's some folks out there saying that you have to have surgery to treat this, and I'm saying you do not. Uh, I consulted with a VCA, a couple of VCAs, and um, if there are uh, bird vets nearby, please give them a call uh, and talk to them. But essentially, uh, if unless the infection goes systemic, so like they start not eating or drinking or walking at all, then, then that's when you start thinking about surgery. But until then, you can treat it without surgery just fine. Um, and so I'll show you how to do that. Uh, and essentially, surgery is the last resort. And what you're looking for at first, so, so the black Swedish over there, Pepper, she uh, bumped her foot on something gnarly and we noticed that she was limping. So we looked at her foot and then on the bottom, it was all swollen, had that little scab and um, we uh, decided to start treating it, obviously, without surgery, and she was still eating, she was still drinking, and she's kind of a skittish breed of duck, semi-skittish, so if she had to, she would kind of limp away, but it was very dramatic limping. She wasn't moving a lot, um, so she, she wasn't quite immobile completely, and she was still eating and drinking. So, so that's, that's that threshold that we were talking about, um, and what we did was this. Uh, we, every day we would take her over here and these are the three ingredients you need. Uh, first bit is a, an Epsom salt bath and uh, what you do, you put a couple tablespoons of salt, a couple cups of water, dissolve it. Uh, warm water is preferable but it doesn't have to be. Um, and then you're going to set your bird's foot down into the bath for about five minutes if you can keep it there that long. Uh, and what I would do is sort of massage it a little bit, uh, move the foot up and down so that um, the blood flow would continue as, as more than maybe it would if the bird was sitting down all day long and it would get into any nooks and crannies when that foot was moving just a little bit. Um, it would be uncomfortable for the bird. I, I wouldn't squeeze it or anything, nothing aggressive, just, just a little bit of a massage just to get a little movement in there. And so that's going to um, relax the muscles. It's going to help fight infection. Uh, and so after that, I'd toss the bath away, get a dish, um, and put probably like half a teaspoon of apple cider to, to this much water, really just a couple drops of vinegar. Um, it, it can be apple cider vinegar is what we use. It, I think it can be pretty much any vinegar. This is the one that I've heard over and over again. Um, I don't know why, but it's like the vinegar of preference for treating birds. Uh, so a couple drops of that in a, in a dish of water for it to drink. Uh, it's gonna help boost its um, immune system a bit. Um, and make sure that it is drinking water because if it's immobile and you have a run as big as ours um, and the water's over there or the water's over there, if the duck is somewhere in between or the chicken is somewhere in between, you want to make sure once or twice a day if you can to make sure that it is drinking water and, and eating food uh, because it, in, the, in the worst time of the infection it might not have the energy to wobble over even if it still is mobile. Um, so what we would do is get that water, have it start drinking. I would put some food into the water so that um, it, 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 you want to give it food too. But it, as it was eating the food, I was making sure that it was drinking enough or a lot of that uh, vinegar water. Um, so you, you give it water and food until it's happy. And then uh, the last thing is patting the foot dry after the bath and giving a spray of this. Um, this is called vetricin. It's a watered-down acid, uh, hypochlorous acid, um, available at like feed shops or some vets would probably carry this. You'd probably get it online too. Uh, a little bit goes a long way, and, and this spray bottle comes out as a mist. Uh, this is about 20 bucks. Um, 
but it it lasts for at least a year so um so worth buying if you have poultry uh, but a few sprays of that and this is a natural um well m simple uh, antiseptic uh no um oh god words are evading me the, there's no um antibiotics or anything in this um just that simple acid solution um alternatively if you don't have this putting on some antiseptic ointment like um oh my god i cannot remember the name of the antiseptic ointment it's the clear stuff you put it on cuts you can put it on your duck or your chicken uh, if you don't have this so either one of those um, and we would do that once a day that whole process uh, if, if the infection seems really bad um, you may want to do it twice a day if you can definitely do the the food and water twice a day um, and after all of that the ideal scenario is to wrap the foot in some gauze and some uh, some medical wrap or whatever you want to fashion to s just to keep it um, as clean as possible which is kind of a joke given that they're ducks but um, we actually discovered the infection in Pepper's foot right before we left town so we didn't wrap it and um, it did heal up just fine. Uh, the healing process for Bumblefoot is about six weeks total to total recovery. Pepper is about mm, three to four weeks in and she's made unbelievable progress. Um, you'll note, and I, I do want to show you her foot to you, um, you'll note that she does have a very slight limp still but it's just uh, light years past where she was. Hey Peppy. Oh yes. Oh yes. You're you're okay. You're okay. Good girl. You're okay. You're okay. You just want to see your your little pad. So you'll see a tiny spot. Look for a spot on the bottom of her foot pad. You're all right. You're all right. Okay. It's that tiny white that tiny white speck kind of near the middle bottom. And uh, that used to be where the scab was, but you can see that foot is more or less healed. That looks like a normal foot now. And there's still a little bit of discomfort for her to walk around. Um, I don't know if, well, she doesn't feel like walking around, that's fine. But um, she's well on her way to recovery. And, uh, you know, once that scab disappears, it's good to still use the vetricin or, um, oh, I keep wanting to see ibuprofen. It's not ibuprofen, it's... Oh God, I can't remember the name. Or antiseptic cream ointment. Uh, you want to keep putting that on once a day until like the limp basically disappears. Um, and so she's probably got another week or so of minor discomfort, but then she'll be back to normal and voila. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have other remedies, obviously we'd love to hear about it because, whoa, very nice. Uh, because nobody wants to have to operate on their bird, and, and this way is much, much nicer for everyone. Thank you for watching.